In this video, I will show you how to use AP Game Tools with Godot Game Engine. AP Game Tools is a Blender add-on that helps you optimize and export objects to game engines like Godot, Unity, and Unreal. Check the description below on where to buy it and how to install. Let's get started. Godot already has a GLTF importer, so we can jump right in. If you want to set up a pipeline between Blender and Godot, the first step is to save your Blender file in the same location as your Godot project. I've saved my Blend file in my Godot project folder in a subfolder called Alex. Now if I press Export for Game Engine, you'll see that it automatically imports the model and the material with the shader set up correctly. There are two different export options. Export for Game Engine keeps the location data of your models and Center in Export for Game Engine resets the location to 000 before exporting. If you plan on updating your mesh or material, I highly recommend attaching your model to an empty game object. That way, if you need to update the object, it can retain any location, scale, or scripts that you had previously. To update your mesh or material, all you have to do is press Export for Game Engine again. Then, in Godot, click on the model you want to update, go to the Import tab, Uncheck Keep on Reimport and then press Reimport. Now, back in your scene, hide the original object and drag the same file into the empty game object. This works with textures as well. Any objects you bring in should have its textures automatically imported and the shader set up correctly. If your objects have parents, they will not export correctly. You will need to clear the parents first before you export. If you don't want to use this pipeline, or if you have models outside of your Godot project folder, you can just drag and drop those models into your project to import. If you want to update your model, make your changes in Blender, export, then drag the new model into the same location as the old one. Now follow the same steps to re-import your model. If you have a complex material, such as this material I got from Polygon, you might need to bake your textures before you export. I like to use the add-on Simple Bake. With this material, it looks like I need a base color map, a roughness map, and a normal map. After you've baked your textures, it should look something like this. Now you are ready to export. To see the progress of your exports, you can open the console. On Windows, you press Window, Toggle System Console. Now you can see the progress of your exports. If you want to cancel the export, click on the console window and press Ctrl C. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.